If somebody tells you you're gonna go viral just by using this effect, they're most likely lying to you. But I'm gonna show you an easy and super fast way of creating it in DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm sick again, so I can't speak for too long. So let me try to do this real quick. All right, we have our first clip right here. And I use this square cutout that I built on the previous video. If you haven't watched that, make sure to go and watch that. All you need here is in the edit page, add a normal text effect. Now, before you do anything, if you wanna add an extra touch, Go to settings at a keyframe and then you can make your text either smaller or bigger and hold control and move the size a little bit that will add an extra layer of effect to your text animation now all you need to do is go a couple of frames in this case we can do four frames there we're going to make a cut now we're going to go four frames again and make another cut and do this a couple of times it all depends on how many times you want to repeat or change the text one thing that I forgot to do right from before we started is that I forgot to actually write the text. Now, this is not a big issue because using the normal text now, we can just select all of them and write the text that you want. Now, all of them are going to change and now you're good to go. Okay, now after you have your word, all you have to do is change the fonts to add this effect. One thing you do want to make sure is that the fonts pivot point is not too different from the other, so they are all sort of center. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit too jumpy if one of them is a little bit higher than the other or lower than the other now other than that there's no really rules for these you can just play around until you get something that you like now let's take a look at how this looks now one thing you want to make sure that is that if you create that first animation where it becomes smaller if it is too much and you want to modify these you actually do have to go and modify these or the others but you can just do that on the last one now press Ctrl C, selecting all of them, press Alt V, and then go to Zoom. And that setting should be set to that same uh, amount for the last keyframe as well. So that's how you solve that issue. Okay, after you have the font animation, what happens if the jump is a little bit too slow? Well, what you can do is actually select everything. Now press T to adjust the trim mode and now press ctrl d and then you can actually adjust the duration for these if you want to make this longer just input a higher number and this will all stretch out and if you want to make these faster or shorter then just input a lower number the main thing is that you want to have the trim mode activated otherwise this will not work okay after that is done your text is pretty much done the cool thing about this normal text is that you can adjust the color and a bunch of different things all of them at the same time if you were using a normal or like a fusion text you're not going to be able to do that as easily if you think that the next step is to add sound then you are correct that is the last step for these and well there's not really a last step you can always add a lot more things if you want to combine things but what you can do is add any sort of like typewriter effect or any sort of effect that indicates there's a change and then just simply cut things and add them right where the text is starting now one thing that might happen is that if you're not able to align these properly or easily you can just deactivate the snapping or while you have something selected then you can press n and the snapping will deactivate momentarily while that is selected if you let it go it will activate again but here I'm just going to deactivate that for now and make sure that the sound is coming right where that midpoint is. And then just repeat this process until all the different sounds are in the place where you want them to be. If you want your sound to be a little bit more interesting, what I would say that you should try is to play around with the semitones or the synths as well. And then also you can play around with the volume. That will make the effect stand out and it will not be just like a random noise being repeated over and over so the main thing that you need to do is pay attention to the speed of the change and also play around with the sounds so that there's a little bit of variations in the sounds after that you can combine a transition to show your next element by either using an overlay similar to these ones right here using the grunge elements or you can also do a little text transition of your text flying into the screen and then transition to the next screen. You can be as creative as you want. As I always say, there's no rules set in stone. So just be as creative as you want. So that is a cool text effect that will probably not make you viral, but it looks really cool. Now, talking about going viral, if you edit in Adventure Resolve and you want to go viral, make sure to check out my Black Friday bundle. Just kidding, that's not going to make you go viral, but it will definitely save you a ton of time. And it actually is a huge deal right now because you can get all the premium paid tools that I've made for DaVinci Resolve all in one bundle 
for only 25 bucks so make sure to check that out if that is something that will help you out now if you want to have these as a, some sort of preset what you want to do is save these as a compound clip and then add these to your master bin now there is one problem though you're not able to add everything to the master bin like these all you can do is actually save the text by itself as a compound clip well i misspell that no big deal but you can actually save these right there and then add these onto any project like that now you're not able to save the sounds as part of the combo clip so what can you do if you want to reuse the exact same sound every time well what you can do is render only the sounds by itself and save them as an mp3 file and then just add that to your master bin and then just rename these same as your text preset and then but just put the sound effect or something like that okay so how do you save the sound well, right click, create a compound clip, and then just rename these sound effects. After that, what you can do is either go to the Fairlight page right here. We're going to zoom in and we're going to right click and then use the export audio files section right here. And here you can just select the different formats you want to save these on and then just export these to whatever folder you want it to be at. Now, the other way to do this is to go to the edit page and then deactivate these export video right here just export audio and then with only the audio selected set the in point right here where the clip starts and the out points right here where the audio ends and then here you can save these as an mp3 file to import these later on to your project after you have the format select the name that you wanted to put and then the location where you want it to save and then add these to your render queue like you would any other video and that is it for this video See you in the next one here in Swathi. Bye.